So today I am going to take you to the Grave. We're going to go to Bordeaux, even though on Premier Week has been cancelled. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen this week. It's not going to happen next week. It's not going to happen next month. It's not going to happen the month after. Obviously due to coronavirus, not due to the snow that they saw just a couple of days ago. I think at the end of March, Bly, I saw reports. Oh my dog, I saw reports. I don't know if it happened in the right bank. I don't know if it happened in the Grave, but there was snow. Uh, we've already had bud bursts, so we don't really like to see snow at this time but i don't think it's settled so let's not worry too much there's other things to worry about in 2020 i think anyway what's coronavirus doing i mean to the wine industry uh, obviously not allowed not permitted not going to go uh, on premiere it's not going to happen but uh there's having there's so many knock-on effects from coronavirus this there's a knock-on effect to this particular wine this particular retailer um this wine, uh, the Extraordinary, Extraordinary, Extraordinary Claret from Berry Brothers and Rudd is their, I believe, top selling wine. This one's the 2016. Uh, it's no longer available on the website. It's sold out. Um, Berry Brothers and Rudd had their very best week last week of online retail sales, better than Christmas. So why? Obviously, coronavirus, people deciding, um, you know what, the UK says no more pubs, no more bars, no more restaurants. I still want wine. They, they said initially that um, off licenses were not um, not key workers but not key businesses and shouldn't be open and then they reverse that and who knows what will happen next week but um it's been a topsy-turvy time for the wine industry the pros it sounds terrible but you know the a good news story i suppose is that online wine wine sales are flying um it's had different effects on different retailers very and red are not currently taking any more orders because they're just backed up with deliveries um the wine society decided right from the beginning when the the, the government I think about 10 days ago said yet yeah, no more um that they were not going to um to sell uh so so their online site is currently closed uh, but other retailers that you can order from that are delivering right now that i can recommend would be Robeson's. And honest grapes so if you haven't tried those retailers before do give them a go um anyway let's try this wine let's virtually travel to the grave um so berry brothers and red extraordinary claret grave 2016 on the back of here it says been producing by, by villa belair from 2002 um this is a textbook example of classic rounded claret and this is their best showing yet the 2016 they feel is the best vintage uh, i don't know if they write that on the back of every year but let's assume they don't 2016 was obviously a great vintage um really quite cold and rainy and then really hot for a long time um and the graph can cope with that quite well um drainage of the soils means you know super wet time early on was probably handled very well there there's there's a good range of wines um from the graph from 2016 so i'm expecting good things of this so let's try it what can we expect from a wine from the graph um, you could expect it to be this colour or you could expect it to be the other colour. You could expect it to be white because the Grave and Pesac Lénion um, produce great amounts of white wine as well and like most other uh, AOCs in Bordeaux. Um, let's have a look at the colour then. The colour there is a kind of mid-crimson on the nose. That's kind of a medium intensity on the nose or even medium minus it's not that bunchy but it is exceptionally pretty um it's a touch floral there's hints of oak it's not yeah it's very well integrated but it's kind of one note so really just dark fruit blackberry and then on the palette really easy drinking it's fading a little though so mid-bodied very fresh very fruity well integrated the oak is not showing out badly here at all um the freshness that you expect from the grave is is definitely there good acidity this would go with a range of different recipes it's a, i think this is a very versatile wine but it does fade a little quickly than i than, a little quicker than i would have hoped for for a 20 pound wine and it, there's a little bit of heat on the end, which is weird because it's only 13% alcohol, so don't know why that would be. Um, if, well, this vintage is obviously sold out. It's only available now in um, Double Magnum for £149. And I'm sure this was under £20 when I bought it, so that's that's pricey. Um, but if you'd like to buy a wine from Berry Brothers and Red once it does reopen, uh, this one will not be available. You could go for the Chateau Langley. 
which is uh, also from the Grave, red wine, uh, 90 points from the wine enthusiast, um, £18. I haven't thought of a question. Bugger. <laughs>